Hey, Nosa. Good morning, Nosa. Nosa's a good girl. <laughs> oh, what? Did you film that? It was fluffy. <laughs> he was ready. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought... Why are you laughing? I didn't realize. I forgot you were filming. <laughs> and I was in the background. Okay, anyways. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would just do a casual vlog because I haven't vlogged in a really long time. But I thought it would be fun to vlog since we are kind of trapped in our house during a plague and I thought I would just kind of try to get stuff done and maybe film some of it and see what I can do to keep myself busy. It shouldn't be that hard because I have a lot of animals, so I'm sure I can figure something out. I'm just probably going to be spending time with the animals and maybe doing some maintenance and stuff like that. Maybe feeding some of them. Because my wants more banana. I ate it all. Oh. But yeah, actually one of the first things we're going to be doing today is leaving the house, which is, I know, very counterintuitive to what we should be doing because of the whole social distancing and, you know, staying home thing to help prevent spreading the virus. Gizmo really needs... So Gizmo really needs his beak trimmed and we have an appointment today to go do that. So we're just gonna go trim his beak and then we're gonna come straight home. Um, of course I could probably just wait to like reschedule it or something, but we really don't know how long this is going to last. So I figured since maybe it might be just getting worse pretty soon, we could just go do that today and get it out of the way and then try to stay home as much as possible. So we're just gonna be going straight to the local bird store which might be a good thing because they could probably use our business right now because, you know, everyone's staying home. So, Gizmo, are you ready to get your beak done? He says, I got the banana on my beak and I'm gonna wipe it onto the cage now. Bah. <laughs> so before we actually begin our day of quarantine, I need caffeine because I'm tired, so and I have a dependency, it's probably unhealthy. So I have these um, coffees that I just pre-made so I can make myself iced coffee. And also, funny story about these eggs. No, one of them's like green because I guess one of the chickens lays different colored eggs, but Maddie traded toilet paper to get these eggs. Someone messaged Maddie on Facebook who has chickens Basically, we have a whole abundance of toilet paper because we accidentally bought way too much literally months ago, and now we just have a ton of toilet paper. So, yeah, someone on Facebook <laughs> asked Maddie if they could trade us eggs for toilet paper. So Maddie was like, sure, that's kind of cool because they have their own chickens and stuff. So they gave us a dozen eggs in exchange for a few rolls of toilet paper. So I thought that was kind of cool. We love that. So the barter system is back into place. Thank you, Maddie. I was trying to stay out of the way and you can't <laughs> to me. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to get a really satisfying uh, video of my coffee. But yeah, this is the creamer I use. This is a terrible like filming angle. But yeah, this is the silk like uh, soy milk vanilla creamer. It's my favorite for coffee. I cannot drink coffee without it, so. Just gonna put a little splash in there. Wow, so pretty. Ow. Yeah, I'm so quirky. I'm not like other people. I'm the only person who uses a metal straw. You are single-handedly saving every single. Yes. Yep. Hi, Ellie. Can you sit? Oh, good girl. Good girl. Hi, Nova. Can you, Nova. Nova. Nova, can you sit? Can you sit? Oh, good. 
good girl. Gizmo, are you ready to go get your beak trimmed? Are you excited? All right, we just got back from the bird store. Gizmo has his beak all done. You look so good, Gizmo. Your beak is as, oh, yep, he just shat. Your beak looks as good as new, doesn't it? Huh? So yeah, we just got back. We just did a really quick run to go get his beak done. I thought that was a necessary reason to leave the house, but yeah, we're gonna try to stay home and not go out a ton or anything like that, because obviously it's crazy, the whole like virus thing that's going on it's so weird because i feel like in the beginning of it and even now still like i don't know if everyone is overreacting or if i'm underreacting and obviously like the smart thing to do is to like stay home and try to not go out into public places too much and whatever because it is a serious thing for a lot of people and you don't want to spread it because obviously it can be dangerous but it's just crazy all the stockpiling people are doing and the fact that the grocery store literally has like nothing. Like if I die, it's not going to be from the virus. It's going to be from me starving to death because I'm going to run out of groceries and then I'm not gonna be able to buy anything. In any like apocalypse situation, I would not last long just because of how terrible I am at grocery shopping for like long periods of time in the future. I'm used to going like every day. So something I, sh I should probably work on, I don't know, I'm just, terrible at everything. So anyways, yeah, this is a fun vlog, isn't it, Gizmo? Does Gypsy want to say hi to the vlog? Oh, wow. You're so fast, aren't you? So in other news, I just got a package in from dubiaroaches.com. I thought it would be a good time to stock up on some of my feeder insects. I know I just did a haul of unboxing 300 of them, and I still have a lot of the super worms, but I fed off all the horn worms. Um, I forgot to put the black soldier fly larva in the fridge and then they all turned into flies and then I accidentally opened it up in my animal room and luckily the flies weren't flying around so it was fine but I didn't have any um, fly larva left so anyways I bought a bunch of new stuff from dubieroaches.com and I will link my affiliate link down below and you can get 10% off if you use it. So if you need any feeders, make sure to go over there, check that out and get the discount. I would really appreciate it. First of all, we have some hornworms. I don't know how many I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, around 10, 11, 12 ish hornworms. They're teeny tiny, but they're going to grow pretty fast. So. Yeah, we got those. And then we got another container of hornworms. So we have two containers. So I guess that puts us at around maybe 25-ish hornworms. I wanna do a video like feeding all my different animals that can eat hornworms, hornworms, because I think that some of them are really funny to watch. Like my blue tongue skink is terrible at eating things. So he's just funny. So we have some little dubia roaches. I just wanted to get some more roaches and some of them are very close to escaping. So it's a good thing that they didn't do that. Two 18 counts of large dubia roaches. So you can see they're not really that large, but they're, they're decent sized. One of them is trying to leave. Yeah, that's about 36 large dubia roaches. And I honestly don't remember what's in here. Oh, I got wax worms. I haven't gotten wax worms in quite a while, so I thought it'd be a fun treat for some of my animals to get some wax worms. So there you have it. Also in my other video where I wore this shirt, a lot of people were asking where I got it from. I got it from Arm the Animals. I can link Arm the Animals down below as well. I just really love this shirt. And they also sent me a few other ones that were really cute, but I really love how the little book down here says witchcraft for bunnies. That's so cute. Cool, quarantine is going fantastic. Isn't that right, Gypsy? Are you having fun? Gypsy, what are you doing down there? Huh? Were you over on your perch in the other room and you tried to fly in here and you landed on the floor? 
You really did try your best. Good bird. So I know nobody cares, but I'm going to make a smoothie and I'm going to show you how I do it because I'm hungry and I don't know what else to do. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is add water for the base of the smoothie. I know that's really boring, but I don't have juice and I stopped buying like alternative milks because I don't feel like it. So then we're going to add some oats. I just kind of eyeball it until I feel like it's a good amount. And then if you want to, you can add like honey or some kind of agave, some kind of sweetener, but I don't have any of that. So I'm not going to do that either. And we're going to blend it at a high speed and it will kind of make an oat milk sort of thing. So yeah. So then I'm gonna add some chia seeds because they're good for you. I'm a nutritionist now. If I had any, I would add kale at this point, but I don't have any kale. I'm not very prepared for this, if you couldn't tell, and the grocery stores are empty, so I'm kind of out of luck. So we're gonna add a banana right now instead. And last but not least, some frozen berries. And then we have our smoothie. Wow, it looks so good. Such, very much a smoothie. And close the door so that the bird screaming doesn't get to us. Okay, so I finally decided that today is going to be the day that I finally clean my hamster cage. I've been needing to do it, and I just decided that, you know, it's finally time. So what kind of sucks about my hamster cage a little bit is it's all the way up here, and you know, it's just a little bit of an inconvenience because I either need to take the whole thing down or I need to get up on my step ladder and kind of clean it from up there, which is probably what I'm gonna do. And yeah, we're just gonna wipe down the cage and then add new bedding. It's going to be a fun time. I need to go downstairs and get bedding actually. Crap, almost forgot about that. All right, we're in the basement where I have my hoard of different various beddings and things. So, I mean, we have like red and green care fresh, but that's more of a Christmas vibe. There's this one. This is like a springtime type of thing. And then there's this, and this, and this. I'm kind of just leaning towards the natural bedding, so I think we're gonna go with that this time. Ugh, just need to get it out. Okay, so I think we're just gonna use this like plain KT clean and cozy bedding. I actually just realized we also have a bag of this. This is some other bedding, Sunseed. So maybe I'll use some of this if we don't have enough bedding just to kind of mix it in, you know? Hello. Mochi, are you really excited to have a new clean cage? She's literally almost all white. She used to have big patches of gray on her, and now she is just covered in just white. You can barely see like a little bit of gray left on her little head. But yeah, she's getting old, guys. I've only had Mochi for probably close to a year, but that makes her almost a year and a half pushing two years old, so. You're an old lady. I'm gonna put her in a separate container and then we're gonna start cleaning. I think she pooped on my hands, so thank you for that. So now that it's all vacuumed up, we got all the bedding out. 
I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with this. It's literally just diluted vinegar. This is what I use most frequently to clean animal enclosures because you know, it's all natural. And obviously you don't wanna use any harsh cleaners that are gonna have fumes and toxic things in there. So I'm gonna spray it down, wipe it down with a towel, and then yeah, we're gonna put it back together. Really exciting. I'm also gonna spray down the wheel, which is over here and clean that up. Let's heck and do it. everything here and then I also just sprinkled in a little bit of her old dirty bedding in here just to help you know give it the smell of her old cage and make her more comfortable and feel more like she's at home that's just something that I read a lot of people do so I have been doing that as well hopefully that is accurate it seems kind of counterintuitive to add dirty bedding to the clean bedding but apparently it's really good for the hamsters to be less stressed out after you completely clean their cage. So now we just got to add Mochi back in there. Mochi, hi. Are you excited to go back into your cage? Come here. There you go. You're home. Home sweet home. What are you going to do first? Okay, all right, bye Mochi. Hello friends, it's the next day. So that's all I vlogged yesterday. I'm currently editing it and you know, although it didn't seem like I vlogged that much, it's, you know, 17 minutes long. So I think I got enough. Obviously didn't get to vlog everything I did yesterday. But if you guys wanna see more vlogs like this, definitely let me know. Give this video a thumbs up so I know that you liked it and comment down below. And I would love to do more vlogs. It's definitely really fun for me to do vlogs. I enjoy vlogs. Vlogs would be fun and nice to do. So thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're new here, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tyler Ruggy so that you can keep up with me off of YouTube. And I will see you guys in my next video.